Okay, um, we're at the park. I'm trying to decide whether to let Sheldon off the lead to run around the park for the first time in... Well, he, he got off the lead about a week or so ago and that did not go well. Um, really just because his wound opened a little tiny bit again and... Uh, you know, I'm just going to do it. Let's go for it, yeah! Okay, go, run, run, crazy dogs. You can't get in that way, because, or maybe you can. Park vlogging. Um, I am at the park. Well, really, this isn't a park. Um, it's this big, massive field that just happens to have a path around it. Um, and really, I think it belongs to um, some estate agent, because they're trying to develop houses. Um, around here and things so they're going to be building on it and it'll go at some stage but the housing market isn't going so good so they can't sell houses and if they can't sell houses they're not building them yet so we're walking yeah um, I think the I think the history behind this place is um, that there's a big manor house over that direction over that big wall really um, and you might well you should be able to see it on up a wee bit here um, and really, I think there was a, a really rich man came a few hundred years ago and uh, set up a factory in the area. So um, a lot of people came to work at the factory and he even built houses for the people in this town. And, uh, and then it became a town because he came and lived here and stuff. And uh, yeah, so there was all this land, all this big field. Um, all of what's behind that fence and and um, there's even more on beyond as well it's like a really really big uh, piece of land and a really big house um, which you can't really see for the trees here just yet but um, but it's pretty cool and I'm sure that's a story that's repeated all over the country there's these little non towns where this rich dude came and established a big manor and a factory and work and whatever um, yeah, so this is Straw Hill in Donnacloney. Um, it's really pretty in the summer, and you know, I love that these trees have the little fences around them and things too. And I think actually when I drive around, like there's a road that goes around this whole thing. Um, you can see deer in one of their fields and that they have over at the far side over there. But anyway, it's pretty cool. I really hope they don't build houses on it anytime soon. <laughs> that would be sad. Are you enjoying being off the lead again? Sheldon! Yeah, here. Ah, da, 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 sip, 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 sip. Good boy, go! Anyway, on to more serious things. Um, I said about a week ago that I am doing the Essential 100 Bible readings and I wondered if any of you guys wanted to jump on board with that and do the readings alongside me. Um, I've got a couple of people who were looking at it and having a think about it. One person said they signed up, um, but I'm not sure does that mean then do we perhaps try and sync up our days that we're reading and stuff and perhaps do a little, like if I vlog a little about what I've been thinking on the passages we've been reading and people respond to that and stuff or do we just do it all independently? I don't know. Um, if you have any thoughts on that or if you're doing it um, alongside or want to do it alongside, again, comment in the comments on the YouTubes and so on. That little house that's over there is actually like a little gatekeeper's house for the big manor. Um, and I remember that it was for sale a couple of years ago. Maybe it is still for sale, but um, I remember there being a sign for it anyway. Um, yeah, it looks very small and things, but it could be pretty cool to live in a gatekeeper's cottage. How cool is that? It sort of feel like a mini version of Hagrid. Do you ever sometimes just wonder how stupid you are? I've just got in the car, ready to drive, and just realise I have left my key in the door outside. I'm so thick. Just got a funny look from that dude. Ah! Okay, let's drive, go!